Hey guys, this is my XK80 from XKeys, and I'm going to show you guys how I use this device for streaming. It serves two purposes for my stream. It switches OBS scenes and it plays sound effects. So I'll show you a couple OBS scenes that are just one button away. This is the kitchen, DJ, office, and oval office. So check them out. Here's the kitchen, here's the DJ station, here's my office, and here's the oval office. And all of those are done just by one key. The same is for the uh, sound effects. Here, I'll play some popular ones that I have bound here. First Blood, Multi-Kill, Monster Kill. kill. So you get the idea. And I'll show you guys how to do this. We'll come over here to my uh, display key to switch us over to the main monitor. And this is my uh, MacroWorks file. We'll go ahead and load up a new one since we're starting from the beginning here. And you have to be on software mode. So for our first key, because I'm not a huge fan of my X keys being blue like this so we're gonna switch it over to red and to do that we'll just double click here on button one and we'll come over to function show functions come down to layers layer toggle and while this is supposed to toggle the layer I haven't figured out how it works but it does change the color so now that we have this one bound, we'll just click on Windows or something. And this will change us from red to blue or back to red. For our next button, we'll uh, bind an OBS key to it. So we have to use unused key binds that aren't used in games or well, hopefully anything. So we'll double click here and come into our keystrokes tab. And make sure this is checkbox, the automatic separation of up and down strokes. And what you're going to do is hold left alt, hit the zero on your numpad, release the zero, and release left alt. So now we can bind an OBS key to alt numpad zero. And we'll do a couple of them. So right next to the zero key on your numpad is the decimal key. So we'll hold alt, hit the decimal. Let go of it, and let go Alt. And we'll go ahead and do the one key as well. So Alt, numpad one key, let go numpad one, let go Alt. So we have three keys programmed to uh, Alt modified numpad keys, which you can use most all of them on the numpad for OBS scenes. And to do that, we'll now come in here to OBS, open up our settings and go to hotkeys and now we'll find three scenes that i would like to change or key bind which are going to be the jaws theater avalo's bedroom and uh overwatch diva character so we'll go into settings we'll go to hotkeys avalo and what we're going to do is we're just going to hit this key on our macro keyboard. And it should give us Alt plus numpad zero. Now that scene is key bound. So then we need to find the Jaws Theater, which is somewhere around here. There we go. Jaws Theater. Switch to scene. And we'll bind that to the next one down. That'll be button three. And I gave us Alt plus num delete, which is the... Alt decimal on the numpad. And the final one, Overwatch Diva, come to switch scene and we'll click our last key that we programmed to Alt numpad one. And it pops right in there. So we'll hit apply. And we'll uh, go to our camera of the X keys here and we'll just try them out. Oh, first we got to make it red because it likes to switch back to blue for whatever reason. 
and then Avalo's bedroom. Boom. The uh, Jaws Theater. Boom. Diva. Boom. And that's how it's done. You can bind tons of different scenes. There is a uh, a lot of things you can do with this. All of my OBS keybinds will be listed in the description below. To have sound effects on your stream, you just double click on one of these boxes. We'll go with the top right one. And we're just gonna go to the shortcut tab and we're gonna find an MP3 file or uh, any, any audio, even a video file. So I'll go in here to my Twitch audio files, soundboard, and here I have just a ton of MP3s. So let's go with the drama one. Where is it? There it is. Bam. So we'll save that one. Go over to our X keys thing and press the top right button. And sure enough, if you, you can play it as many times as you want. And what that looks like on your screen is just going to be VLC player or whatever player you use. And I close it, it reopens it. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or come find me on Discord. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks, guys. Peace out.